This video is sponsored by True Gold Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report Today. June 28, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we were expected a G1 geomagnetic storm today from a filament eruption that occurred on the 25th of June when our GO satellite was down for unknown reasons. Well, we weren't able to ever see this filament eruption. They just uh, showed us the before and after pictures here and said that they might expect a G1 glancing blow geomagnetic storm on the 28th. With that said, we're currently in a severe G4 geomagnetic storm. I wonder what really occurred during GO's outage. It's a crazy strong storm. We're about to go over it. First, let's look at NASA's prediction on this CME or coronal mass ejection. We have to ask ourselves, what are we paying these people hundreds of millions of dollars to do? This is the CME that was supposed to give Earth a glancing blow. You'll see here that it might or might have, uh, not have touched Earth. Definitely looks like it hit Stereo A, right? Very, very faint CME. Nothing that would cause a severe geomagnetic storm. However, that's exactly what's occurring right now. So that was NASA's actual ISWA Goodert spiral and we saw the coronal mass ejection per NASA. This is the actual NOAA KP index breakdown forecast for the 28th today. You'll see that they try to take it into a G2 storm here from 9 to 12 UTC time which is 2 in the morning until 5 a.m. central time here in the U.S. Well everything here is incorrect as usual let's take a look at what's really happening but before we do let's take a look at the GOES outage all the instruments associated with our GOES satellite were down for about 12 hours maybe a little bit longer and this is supposedly when the filament eruption occurred so it took 24 48 and now into well 72 hours to hit us that's an awful slow moving coronal mass ejection to cause a severe geomagnetic storm wouldn't you agree but yet here we are taking a look at the boulder index this is boulder kp index the geomagnetic storm a g3 geomagnetic storm started yesterday and that would have been from four to seven central time so since then there's been an additional 12 hours of geomagnetic storms altogether 15 hours of geomagnetic storms with a geomagnetic disturbance in the middle looking at the fredericksburg we had a geomagnetic disturbance and the last six hours, we've had a G1 geomagnetic storm and a G2 geomagnetic storm. Now, let's look at the estimated planetary index, the one that NASA and NOAA has just upgraded and that they use. It starts out with six hours of a geomagnetic disturbance, then a G2 geomagnetic storm, and now a G4 geomagnetic storm. That is correct, a G4 severe geomagnetic storm. Totally unpredicted, again, by NOAA or NASA. Looking at the college index, we see nine hours of a geomagnetic disturbance, which matches up with our estimated planetary index. 
followed by a G2 geomagnetic storm, followed by a G1 geomagnetic storm. Now let's look at the estimated planetary index all by itself. I've only got one word for this, folks. Wow. All right, so we just have gone through three hours of a G4 KP8 index, right? KP8, a severe geomagnetic storm off of a filament eruption that looked very faint on NASA's Isla Goodwood spiral and Personally, I don't remember the last time a filament eruption caused a G4 severe geomagnetic storm. Completely ridiculous. Now, we're getting pounded by radiation from this coronal mass ejection here. And we will take a look at that and see what that looks like on Discover. But here we are. There you go. A G4 KP8 geomagnetic storm for the last three hours now i don't know what uh, the new print's gonna look like but ladies and gentlemen we're being fried by plasma or this appears to show that let's get over to discover and take a look and find out exactly what is going on over to discover real-time solar winds satellite what we see here, ladies and gentlemen, is, well, the main problem is, is our shields are down during this event here. You can see in pink, it looks like the event started at around 8 UTC time, which is 1 in the morning, like some of the models indicated here. We went from 6 centimeters cubed, which was a pretty high number, into a geomagnetic storm, anything over 10 centimeters cubed is a geomagnetic storm. Like we peaked up here at 65.32. Looks like we've had a second peak here at 72.12 centimeters cubed of plasma. How is this possible? These are the highest levels of plasma we've seen almost all year except for the one event that we've had and during this time our shields are down look above this in pink we can see that we're getting smashed here i always said try to look at the black as the well solar wind and plasma and the red is our shields trying to fight it off those aren't really what we're looking at here, but it's the easiest way to uh, explain it to you guys. So these are huge plasma hits. Now, all of a sudden, it looks like we went from 35 centimeters, 37 centimeters, 0.42 squared. And we shot down into, well, non-geomagnetic storm conditions here. Although we had the solar winds rise up from 321 and rise up just in the last few seconds, although they're still under 500 kilometers per second, to just under 500 kilometers per second. Now, I like how the solar temperatures or our temperatures are following our plasma, just like they should. As we all know, as the plasma goes up, the temperature goes up and the plasma has gone down. So it looks like this storm is going to be over, although the next, the next KP index bar should show a strong geomagnetic storm. After that, we should be out of the woods with this particular impact. Now, with that said, folks, this was completely unpredicted. I said it might be a glancing blow, or it might be a G1 geomagnetic storm. That's what they were looking for, and they got a severe KP8 geomagnetic storm. Again, the next bar to drop should be a geomagnetic storm as well, based on our Discover Real-Time Satellite. And it looks like we're out of the woods at that point. Although anyone that's having a rough time today, now you know why for sure.
God bless you and yours. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything is possible in Bizarro World.